Hey folks, Dr. Girl Smart from Aspire Natural Health. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever you happen to be watching or listening to this, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, as of this recording, we are still very much dealing with COVID and the effects and the after effects of all of it that is going on. Now, I'm a firm believer whenever we can, we want to try to make lemonade out of lemons, right? We want to look at bad situations or troubling or challenging times in our lives. And we want to see, is there anything possible positive or beneficial that we're able to take away from it. It's my firm belief that every situation, no matter how bad, there's at least a tiny glimmer of something possible, lessons learned or other things that we can take away from it. Now with COVID here and all the lockdowns that have happened, one of the things is this separation from the people around us, a lot of the people around us. So that could be friends, that could be family, that could be coworkers, that can be other people. Now, for some of us, this is kind of a good thing. For others, really, really, really challenging point. And for most of us, I think the lessons we have learned is that there are certain people that we were around before a lot that we dearly miss, that were really positively contributing to our lives in beneficial ways. And then I think we're recognizing that there were other people that were in our lives, whether they were just casual contacts or you know, more significant family, friends, coworkers, whatever they might be, that we're honestly, if we're, we're really honest here, we're pretty glad we're not having to spend time with them. And this brings me to the idea that they say, you know, we are the sum of the people that were around. Now, this makes a lot of sense, right? If the people that you're around are constantly complaining and negative, it's going to tend to drag you down as well. Or if, for example, you're trying to train for a marathon and everyone around you is a couch potato, uh, wants to simply, you know, Know, lay on the couch and play video games all day long. The idea of physical activity is just totally negative for them. And they're constantly telling you how dumb that is that you're training for it. Um, you're just going to get hurt. Marathons are terrible. All those things. You can imagine that it's going to be extremely hard, possible, but extremely hard to ignore all of that and to move forward towards your goals. Or if you're a small business owner and everyone around you is doom and gloom and doom and gloom and horrible and you're going to fail and it's terrible and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Again, it's going to be extremely hard to move in the direction of whatever your goals are. Now, I've talked multiple times before. One of the most frustrating things is when someone comes to me and they're really determined to improve their digestive issues, improve their autoimmunity, take control of their health, you know, move on from a sick place to a healthy and thriving place. And that the people around them, whether it's family, whether it's friends, coworkers, whatever the case might be, are really negative. Now that can just be, you know, the occasional comment all the way to downright hostility or even sabotage, uh, intentional or non-intentional. And we've seen uh, quite a few people over the years who came to us with the absolute best of intentions really ended up poisoned by the people that are around them. Now, on the opposite side, having good, supportive people around you who are also moving in the same direction that you are towards the same kind of goals or aspirations that you have can absolutely accelerate you. Again, if you want to train for a marathon, having other people around you who've done marathons or are training for marathons or at the very least are supportive of you going through that process can absolutely help you. You know, they're cheering you on, they're supporting you, and they can hold you accountable a little bit. You know, uh, I've never run a marathon, not one of my goals, but I know plenty of people who have, and you have to put in a certain amount of mileage running uh, if you want to be able to run a marathon, and those people can help hold you accountable, or, you know, when they're telling you how they're going out running, that can help push and drive you towards meeting your goals. So whatever your goals are, whether it's in health, relationships, wealth, or other areas of your life where you have goals that you want to achieve, making sure that you're surrounded by people who support you and push you in the direction of your goals is a critical factor 
for success. So the, the silver lining here of this isolation that many of us have experienced being cut off in many ways from our social network is a good chance here to take a moment. If you can sit down with a pen and a piece of paper or a file on your computer or just sit down for some quiet, reflective time, think about your your support structure and the people that you're surrounding yourself with. And now is the time for a little bit of real honesty, even if it's just in your head, asking yourself, one, do you like hanging around with these people? And the answer can be absolutely, uh, somewhat, or really, I don't like hanging around with these people. Now, we have to be honest with ourselves. If we really don't like hanging around with these people, it doesn't mean we have to dump them and get rid of them. It doesn't mean we can never see them again or or something like that. But it is being honest to say, look, if we just don't like being around these people, the questions are, one, is it anything to do with us? Like, have we made an opportunity to reach out and get to know these people? Uh, maybe there's something, if we just took a little bit of time, we'd recognize, oh my gosh, here's a connection with this person and, and this can really work. And other people, it's like, nope, nope, nope. This is not a good relationship for me and really recognizing that, okay? So the first question, do you actually enjoy being around these people? The second question is, are they neutral, at the very minimum, neutral towards the goals that you want to achieve, the direction you want to take your life? Ideally, are they supportive? We've talked before about supportive, neutral, or negative. So it is important to identify, are these people negative towards the goals and the direction that you want to take in your life, neutral or supportive? If they're negative, even if we like hanging around with them, we have to recognize it Honestly, we probably shouldn't hang around them too much, or at the minimum, we should not discuss our goals, our dreams, and our aspirations with people who are neutral and negative, because at best, you know, they're going to shrug and say, okay, and at worst, they're going to work to undermine or sabotage us, even if that's not in a mean or, or hurtful way, that they just don't believe in those things, they're not going to be helpful for us. So the two questions that we really need to ask ourselves, one, do we like being around these people. If we don't, we have to question, you know, should we continue to hang around these people? If at all possible, I get with coworkers and some other people, we have no choice. In, we have no choice in the matter, but we certainly can do what it's possible to do to minimize the people who we don't like being around and the people who are neutral or negative in regards to the direction that we want to take our lives. And so maybe that means for many of us, there's a bit of a pruning of our social circle or our network wherever possible. Maybe there's people that you once got along great with, but you don't anymore. And this gives us an opportunity to begin the process of looking for other people who are moving in the direction that we want to go. Again, you know, maybe if it, if your dream is a marathon, finding a running club or a marathon group, and it's a way to meet people who are on the same path as you are and maybe develop some friendships or whatever else that your goals are, we can start by finding like-minded people who are also moving in that direction. And, and maybe we do like hanging around with them and they become friends, or maybe we don't like hanging around with them. That's okay. But it's recognizing that the people that we spend a lot of time with have a tremendous influence on us. And so the question from all of this is, are those people helping you to move in the direction of your dreams and bringing happiness to your life? Or are they pushing you away from your dreams and the direction you want to go? Or are they really not the right people for you to hang out with? Okay, important questions that have a lot to do with our health and our well-being. Now, speaking of groups of people who support us in our health goals, I'd like to invite you to come join us at our private Facebook group. It is called the ANH, that's for Aspire Natural Health, the ANH Academy. And there in the ANH Academy, our goal is to support people on their health journeys. Because listen, we live in a society that plays a lot of lip service towards getting healthy, but at the end of the day, does very little to support people as they work on their health. And so the ANH Academy is one place that we can go to find other people who are supportive of our health journeys. All you need to do is go to Facebook, type in ANH Academy, and there are three super simple, super easy questions for you to answer. Once you do, we can approve you and have you in the group 
quickly. Then you can join with other people who are committed to their health journeys. Once again, that's the ANH Academy. Just go to Facebook, type in ANH Academy, answer the three simple, easy questions, and join us today. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Until next time, take care.